What can be the reason for this obstacle here in the road? Come on. Come on. chest. Do you know him? I never saw him before. Ah, uh, he's through. Looks like somebody doesn't want you to see the governor. That's right. That's why the road was blocked. We were set up for a kill. Let's get on to Monterey. on you worries me. It means you're marked men. Makes me hesitate to tell you why I sent for you. It means someone you trust is loose-tongued, too. I can take care of that situation, but... This is beginning to interest me, Governor. What do you want then? You've heard of Don Carlos Pacheco? Yes. He owns a beautiful rancher down near the border. And he has a beautiful daughter. The Federal Land Commission declared the grant under which he obtained that land invalid. Don Carlos was born on that rancho. He didn't take kindly to the decision that he doesn't own that property. Uh, I can agree with him. However, the Land Commission decided they made a mistake and reversed their decision. That should have made him happy. Unfortunately, he doesn't know about it. He's headed for the border to organize his vaqueros and friends to start a guerrilla war against us. When did Don Carlos leave Monterrey? Yesterday morning. I want you to overtake him and tell him the news. Well, he's got a day and a half head start on us. If we don't catch up to him on the road, then we can reach him at his home before he has a chance to do anything. Don Carlos was bitter when he left you. Said he intended to fight for his rights. So he lose no time in starting war on the border. Lives will be lost. Hatreds flare up. It'll take years to cool off. That was the reason for that attack on us this morning. You mean someone besides Don Carlos wants a war? All the riffraff in the country will join up with Don Carlos. This is a good excuse for robbery and murder. This letter informs Don Carlos of the Commission's new decision. Well, I'll get it to him as fast as I can, sir. Well, good luck. Godspeed to both of you. Thank you, sir. Headquarters while we're here. The place looks closed up. The whole village looks like it's closed up. I wonder where all the men are. I wonder. You suppose Don Carlos has recruited them for his army so soon? is a she instead of a he, I'll find out everything.
Buenas tardes, caballero. Good day. We'd like a couple of rooms. For how long, senores? Oh, a couple of days. Say now, please. There, second door to the right. I'm gonna wash up, Tara. You have ridden far, senor? The north. From Monterey? The gold fields. Then you must be very tired, senor. Come, sit down and rest. You have good luck at the gold fields, yes? I'll have a good look at the gold fields. No. What's the matter with the men of this village? What do you mean? Such a beautiful senorita should draw men to this place as the sweetness of honey draws bears. <laughs> I didn't even see one man on the street. They are all away. Everybody? Yes. Let us talk about you. <laughs> Tell me, what is your business here? <laughs> business? Perhaps we go on to Mexico. Perhaps we stay here. I am in search of gold, adventure, and romance. <laughs> what of your friend, the American? Oh, he just looks for adventure. What of the romance you expect to find here? Who is she? You, Angel Mio. <gasps> oh, you're so beautiful. You, your eyes burn a message of love across my heart. Perhaps you will find all that you wish here. Tonight I shall send you to a man who can use a caballero who is not afraid of danger. Uh, this man is not your husband, I hope. I am a widow. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a shame that one so young and beautiful should be left this large establishment to manage. I need a man's help. Perhaps... Perhaps I am that man. And tonight you'll send me where there's adventure and gold. I promise. Oh. <laughs> uh, tell me of your husband. Was he a young and dashing caballero? He was murdered. It was in the night. The killer reached through the open window and stabbed him in the heart. I never even awoke. And uh, you're so young and uh, beautiful. <laughs> you shall buy a half interest in the hotel before we marry. How about the money, Uncle Mew? I have no I <laughs> Use the money you stole from the gold field. Uh, stole? <laughs> Now we understand each other. <laughs> when two men are fleeing so far from the gold fields, the reason is obvious. <laughs> mm, Kitty, though. Remember, huh? I am not a woman to be trifled with. <laughs> <laughs> we have had an interesting talk, your comrade and I. <laughs> tonight you shall meet a man who will take you to a company of bold adventurers. Good, then we'll see you tonight. Toro? <laughs> Until tonight, beloved. Good work, Toro. For once, the romancing paid off. See, I'm irresistible. If we don't find Don Carlos now, maybe the man we'll meet tonight will take us to him. Let's get going. Don Carlos is out raising an army, but his daughter or a servant ought to be around. Buenas tardes, senorita. Is Don Carlos Pacheco home? His daughter? She is with him. Are they expected home for dinner? I do not know. I didn't notice any men about the rancho, senorita. They are at work. When he comes home, would you give this to him right away? Si, senor. If we leave the governor's letter, then we could leave here. Because he asked me to give it to him, not leave it someplace for him. What did you write? I asked Don Carlos to meet us at the hotel. 
Hey, what's the matter with you, Tor? You seem to be in such a hurry to get out of here. You're doing pretty well with that senorita at the hotel. Oh, see. You want me to watch for Don Carlos? Yes, as soon as he comes home right for the hotel, I'll be there. Just as you say, Kit. In my whole body, there's another room for one more bean. Oh, never have I tasted such frijoles. What a wife you'll make some lucky man. Are you sure Don Carlos has not returned yet? <laughs> Don't be afraid. No one will disturb us. But it's past midnight. Surely Don Carlos and his daughter will return shortly and... If they found us like this... Don Carlos has more important matters to occupy his mind. Such as what? Stop worrying about Don Carlos and tell me again how much you love me. What more is there to say? Just look into my eyes and feel the beat of my heart. Soy <laughs> Odibu. No more trouble with this one. We may need him for information. Where is the other one? He is at the hotel. He was here this afternoon. I left a note for Don Carlos. Put him in the storeroom and tie him up. Juanita Pacheco? Si, senor. My name is Ket Carson. I got a message for your father from the governor. He will not see you, senor Carson. You had better leave at once. It will be dangerous for you here. But the Federal Land Commission has reversed its decision. They've decided to recognize your father's land grant. I still don't dare ask you in. Wait. You should not disturb me, daughter. I am engrossed in my campaign. But Kit Carson is here, and... Kit Carson? Send him away. Warn him that I will not be responsible for his life if he's in San Diego County tomorrow. But let me finish, Papa. He has come to tell you that the rancho has been restored to us. It could be a trick. Senor Carson would not lie. Don't forget his first loyalties to the United States. Oh, see him, please. Very well. But make him give you his guns before he enters the house. He will see you now, but... But what? He insists you give me your gun first. I left a friend here to let me know when your father got back. I don't see him or his horse. Well, we haven't been home for half an hour. Perhaps you missed each other on the way to the village.
Señor Carson, I hope there is no mistake about the news you bring. There isn't. Here are the official papers. Thank you for delivering this in time. You were the victim of a grave injustice, but that mistake has been rectified now. Perfectly. Now you can disperse the army that you were gathering to attack the United States. At once. Send Gamboa to me immediately. If he's asleep, wake him. See, si, Papa. You may never know what your coming here tonight has meant, Kit. You were planning on starting your attack tomorrow, weren't you? I was going to capture San Diego. Mm, and you'd have done it easily. The garrison at San Diego only number 60 men at the moment. More than a hundred of my men are stationed outside the town now. Yes, and after they'd have taken the town, they'd have gotten out of control. It'd have been robbery and murder. You have saved my conscience a heavy load. My foreman. Adelante. Hurry to San Diego and tell the men to disperse, Senor Gamboa. I have good news. That's your first time, Carlos. Put down those guns. What is the meaning of this? This means we attacked in San Diego in the morning. My men will never attack without me to lead them. And you will lead them then, Carlos. My lines have been restored. I have no quarrels with the state of California. But I have. I will live like a king on the border. Once our men have tasted the blood, the wine, and the gold of San Diego, they will follow me anywhere. This is madness. Put down your guns and obey me. The incident will be forgotten. There will be hundreds of incidents like San Diego. Then we'll retire to Mexico to enjoy our riches. You will be hunted down until every last one of you is killed. You do not have to worry, Don Carlos. You will not be with us then. I only need you to lead the attack on San Diego. Look. Leave the attack on San Diego and she will not be harmed. Otherwise, you will never see her again. What would you do, Senor Carson? Play along with him and wait for a break? <laughs> we could have killed you ten times, Senor Carson. But your friends in the United States have paid big ransom for you. Tie him up. I am well. I don't worry about his discomfort when awakening. All right, Sam, we go to San Diego now. Tied and bound and rendered helpless. After many hours of labor and with great ingenuity, I got free. Well, try some of that ingenuity on me. I suppose you got hungry outside and came inside the room and a meal out of the servant, huh? You did me a great injustice. I didn't wait till I got hungry. Oh, my head. Me too. Well, the horses outside? See. Si. Well, we're going to San Diego. Keep ahead of us. 
If you allow me to get close enough to reach you, I'll bury this in your back. Now, right. San Diego to disperse your men. But Juanita... I give you my word, she'll be home when you get back. You're right, kid. I shall expect to see you and Juanita in a few hours. Time. There will be no trouble. That's good news, Don Carlos. Papa! Juanita! And this is good news for me. We owe much to our friends here. Oh, it was nothing. The beautiful senorita throws a knife at me, but she's so worried she misses. Then we tie her up and untie Juanita. I wish you and El Toro would visit with us for a while. Could you, Keith? Oh, thank you very much, but we better get back with our report to the governor. I'm afraid he won't do much sleeping until we get there. Come on, Toro. to say farewell, the governor's waiting for us. Please forgive me, Toro. I was so terrified of Gumbo that when I found out what he was planning, I could think of nothing to do but run home like a baby to my mama. You will come back, El Toro. My word of honor. Toro! Adios, Chula. The governor's waiting. Well, goodbye, Don Carlos. Adios. Adios, muchachos. Buena suerte. Adios, amigo mío. <laughs> 